We are at one of the warehouses of Food Bank of Santa Barbara County. And with me is Eric Talking, Executive Director of this organization. How are you doing, Eric? I'm very well, thank you. Your organization is a key element for the well-being of our community. So I would like to start this interview by asking you, what's the mission of Food Bank? Well, our mission is to solve hunger and nutritional problems in Santa Barbara County. People have a lot of day-to-day -day concerns with not getting enough food, and the Food Bank is really there as a resource. I mean, we are a bank. Rather than putting money into our bank, people put food into our bank. Obviously, they give us money to, to buy food. And then we use that resource with the rest of the community to help people when they're in difficulty. You know, the Food Bank is a county-wide organization. We have a large warehouse in Santa Maria. We have a large warehouse in Santa Barbara. The two of them work very carefully, moving food back and forth. And we're shifting over 8 million pounds of food every year, of which about 3 million is, is produce. We serve about 135,000 people and 48% of who we serve are children under the age of 18. So we're really hitting those people who, who need our help. Now, let's talk about how Food Bank operates here in mm -hmm. the Santa Barbara County. And first question is, how do you get your food? Well, our food comes from a variety of different sources. Some of it is donated by local people who are coming by all day long, dropping off um, fruits, vegetables, um, food that they bought to us from a supermarket but really that's a small percentage of what we have to give out to people. So we work with our parent organization that's called Feeding America that represents all the food banks nationwide and we have what are called food and produce solicitors who are out there looking for food either to be donated or that we can buy very cheaply. So we have a program called Farm to Family where we have produce solicitors going up and down the state of California looking for donated um, crops so some of that comes from other parts of the states, um, some of it comes from government, which is called USDA food, but that's only about 10 or 15 percent. And the rest of it, you know, we have to purchase a lot of food, and a lot of people don't know that about the food bank. You know, they think that's just, we just accept donations, but really we're out there having to buy food. Because things like protein, rice, fish, you know, people, they can't get that donated or they can't get it cheaply, so we need to go and get it and make it available to all of our member agencies. Good. Now, what happens with distribution? Because I know you work with partners, right, to do that. Can you tell me how many agencies are involved and how does it work? Right. I mean, the food bank is not a food pantry. It's not a place where individual people can come because that wouldn't be fair to have lines of people standing out fighting for food. What we do is find partners in the community who are respected nonprofit agencies who have different programs that um, distribute food or they have um, meal programs or they have senior food delivery programs. And we work with those organizations and they become member agencies of the food bank. So we have about 220 agencies up and down Santa Barbara County, about half in the north and half in the south. And these agencies we work with very carefully. We monitor what they're doing. We make sure that they're giving the food out to people who really need it. They have to report to us each quarter what their numbers are for their programs. So we have a very clear idea of how this food is going out. So we're really confident that it's going out in the fairest way possible. Great. Now, I would like to hear more about the programs that Food Bank manage, mm -hmm. and especially those that are linked to children. I understand you have the backpack program and children at risk. Sure. What's their aim and what's the difference? All right, well, let me take you uh, through a few of our programs. Sure. I mean, our major program is called our agency shopping program in that they come in here each day or a few times a week and they shop for food for their program. Mm -hmm. So they just, they take whatever they need uh, and they bring it off to them and that's an effective way of getting it out. But there are some groups that are, are so important in terms of looking after them, seniors mm -hmm. and kids, that we really have to be very actively involved ourselves in running programs rather than just relying on partners. So. At one end of the spectrum, we have our senior citizens. We have a brown bag program where senior citizens are given um, grocery bags twice a month. So that's really crucial to look after people when they're vulnerable at that age. But then the other vulnerable age is when people are very young. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of programs that focus specifically on young people. And recently, we, we brought some of our programs together into an initiative called Feed the Future, which is really designed in saying, let us transform the health of people in Santa Barbara County and let's do it through using good nutrition. Kids, you know, they are very open to, to how they're going to live their lives. And so we want to really focus on those young children and not have the sort of nutrition education that you have in the past where you, you get your little leaflet, it's got your food pyramid on it and people wag their fingers at you and say you must have this much of this and that. 
and it kind of goes right through people. They don't accept it. So we're more interested in nutrition education that focuses on, first of all, showing children where the food is coming from, really getting them to farmer's markets, getting them to farmers, and just seeing, you know, they are, this food is out there in California. You can use this food to be healthy. So they, they learn that, but then they also learn about cooking. You know, nutrition education is all about cooking. If you can go to a farmer's market and pick up this, 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 and that, and then cook it really quickly into something delicious and healthy, that gives you a real lot of power. So we're really trying to have that sort of experiential education that encourages kids to, to just take control of their health. Well, thank you for all that information. There is mm -hmm. so much more to learn about Food Bank, but we encourage them to visit your website. Mm -hmm. Could you help us uh, lead Absolutely. them? Absolutely. Um, you know, we're very interested in working with the community. We have about 350 volunteers at the moment. We need more. Um, and there are many ways to interact with the Food Bank. So I would really encourage people to go to our website, uh, which is www foodbank, SBC, as in Santa Barbara County, dot org. You know, we would really love to work with the community even more than we are. Great. So please get involved. This is a great organization to, to really help and support in any way. Well, thank you again, Eric, for all that information. And I wish the best for you and Food Bank of Santa Barbara County. Thank you very much. For more information on the nonprofit spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.